All right, so now let's take a look at example five. And this one states, uh, find an equation of a sphere with radius r and center h k one. Actually, uh, not one, it's actually L. So Kaku's book writes L lowercase, but it's, it's just, uh, for me, I like using capital case, I guess, because it's easier. It doesn't look like a one. This one here, <laughs> I write one like that sometimes. So this is how it writes L lowercase, and I'll just write it as capital L. Uh, so find an equation of a sphere with radius R and center uh, C, which is coordinates H, K, and L. So solution, by definition, a sphere is a set of all points P, uh, X, Y, Z, whose distance from C is R. And you can see the figure below. So let's just draw this in 3D. So a sphere is, here's the Z axis like this, and there is the Y axis. Uh, this is our Y, and there is our X, and this is our Z, like that. And this is, if we have the center here, the center inside is, let's say, C, C, and this is H, K, L, and then the distance across all the way to, because we're inside a sphere, to P of X, Y, Z, like that, can be like this, and then it's going to be always the same, it's going to be R like that, and I'll just draw this like that. And I'm just gonna draw this, uh, shade this in red. So it's a 3D sphere. Shade it in, like that, <laughs> something like that. So it's a sphere. All right, so we have this sphere like that, and the distance from C is gonna be always, uh, yeah, it's always gonna be equals to R. And uh, here I just uh, move this over just to make the more in the center there, like that. All right, so that's actually in the center now uh, of the sphere. So thus P is on the sphere if and only if the distance PC equals to R. And then if we square both sides, we have, we're gonna have PC squared equals to, well, R squared, and this equals two. And in number of distance formula is just, uh, we subtract the X's, and the y's and the z's and so on and squared and because we already uh we're squaring that so we get rid of the square root this becomes x minus so this is the x this is the h this k as the y and so on x minus h squared and then plus a uh, y minus k squared plus z minus l squared yeah so thus our equation of a sphere with radius r and center c uh, HKL is just this. So we can box this R squared over like that. So there's the equation of a sphere. All right, so now that we have this, and, uh, and basically this result of example five is worth remembering, so we'll call this equation of a sphere. So an equation of a sphere with center C, HKL, and radius R is, and we'll write R squared on the other side. Uh, so we're just gonna write this as X minus H, like this squared plus uh, y minus k squared plus and then z minus l squared equals to r squared like that all right so now uh, in particular if the center uh, is the origin uh, o then an equation of the sphere is so this is uh, the c is all going to be zero 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 so that just means that the equation is just gonna be x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals two r squared. And again, uh, compare this with the equation of a circle, which is just x squared plus y squared equals to r squared. 